Welcome back everybody, and today, right behind me, is a house that I've built myself. Hopefully, I've followed the tips from YouTube alright. Not a whole lot to it, we have the fireplace on the inside, we have this log holding area, a stable for the horses, not that anyone really rides them anymore, and of course we have this fancy doormat which has signs on the underside of these trapdoors, or uh, top. And here's the inside. We have a fireplace, a little nook over here, spiral-ish staircase, little area to walk around here, and a crawl space. But anyway, today we're going to be transforming this house into a piston house. So this underside here will just have redstone just falling out of it to the ground and hopefully I can fit some interesting redstone devices on the inside here as well I have some ideas so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this house okay here we are at the new and slightly improved house and as you can see we definitely have a bunch of redstone on the underside and there's not much redstone for outside, but we do have this thing here. Now, as I said, nobody really rides horses anymore, so if we just press this button... Wait a bit. Press it again. And again. And there we go, they're dead. They also happen to regenerate health. Anyway, onto the front. Let's just go inside. I hooked up the door. There we go. No one likes jungle doors anyway. And we are in the inside. And right there we have a piston door that leads us to this back room. We have a table is very functional. You can throw your plate on top like that. There we go. And we also have a shovels system right here. Just throw out your pit, not your piston, your shulker box. Press the button and here we go. So we have dark blue there, orange, cyan, gray. Cyan, there's our gray, and there's our orange. And they all get cycled through and back into the chest. Over here, let's just close this door, is our potato, carrot, and wheat farm arranged in rows so they grow faster. And if we hit this button, there we go. All of the crops get harvested and we can go on our way. So the pressure plate, there we go. Over here, we have a sugar cane farm. So when one of them grows three tall, they get harvested and close our doors for us. After the sugar cane farm, we have our furnace. It keeps our potatoes nice and toasty. And if we press this button, that puts out our fire and puts it back on again. Over here we have our armor stand display case with our fancy leather tunics. But if we press this button we can reveal our good armor with Elytra and diamond pants. Just get rid of those. And behind the books where no one would ever think to look walk into this corner and get fully equipped with diamond armor and of course that's just a simple dispenser area and we can also get Eltra out of here just in case we want to look more like our armor stands right here we have a button not a button a lever hold on That's a useless machine there. And behind the books, once again, this big book here, 
pull the lever, and our staircase is revealed. And we can go up here. We have our bed, because every house needs a bed. And if we grab the seed here, we have a nano farm. It also re works with potatoes as well. There we go. And as our final redstone contraption, if we pull this lever, right here, we have a chimney that spews fire just to protect against any late Santas. After all, it is January. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. So like, comment, and subscribe, and don't get away from that noisy fire. And I will see you next time.